Dear colleagues, this is a hard black cataract. In Latin, we call it cataracta nigra. In this edited portion of fecal multiplication of this cataract, I want to discuss the safety measures that we should keep in our mind while managing this hard nucleus. Number one, we should stain the capsule with trypan blue dye so that we can see the rexis margin all the time because contrast is very less in this kind of cataracts. Unless we stain the capsule, we will not be able to see the rexis margin. And if we damage the rexis margin while chopping this kind of cataracts, we may have great problem. So the capsule should be stained with tripan blue dye. And you can see that I have made a very large rexis. Yes, the rexis should be large so that there is no fluid buildup during hydrodissection and while uh, emulsification of these nucleus over the posterior capsule so that the posterior capsular rupture can be prevented. So number one is stain the capsule and number two is this large rexis. Now what to do with this heart nucleus? What should be our approach? What I do is I debulk the hard core of the nucleus. I make a crater. I start with from the anterior pole of this hard nucleus. I place the bevel down and I start sculpting from the anterior pole. Now why bevel down? Because with its application of energy, I can remove more cataractous lens matter and the whole energy is over the nuclear mass it goes posteriorly it doesn't dissipate sideways and so the total energy that is applied is utilized so this is bevel down position to make the crater this is one what we can employ in our cases. Now this is I am dealing with this hard nucleus with a mid category uh, FECO machine. All of us are not able to afford a high end machine like uh, Centurion from Alcon uh, which has got beautiful technology and can make life simpler but still if we don't have that beautiful machine with this mid category machine we can manage this kind of cataracts. This is a Oatly Cataracts 3 FECO machine. I have made the crater first with bevel down position and now I have mm, mm, uh, done some more sculpting with bevel up position. Now I am trying to chop the nucleus. This is the first chop. I engaged at the edge of the crater and made this chop. Now I am rotating it 180 degree go to the other side hold the nucleus here and try to separate it I want to divide this nucleus into two heminuclei uh, yes it has divided into two heminuclei now once it divides into two big parts like this the cataract is almost conquered now we must attack from the apex of this very hard nucleus uh, because these triangular fragments are quite large and if we don't attack from the apex of this hard nucleus this sharp apex can hit the posterior capsule and can cause rupture of the posterior capsule so I always try to protect the posterior capsule and I am a little behind the iris plane so that I protect the corneal endothelium also. One can use viscoat and SPMC a modified soft shell technique to initiate the case. I use that nowadays but this case when I did this case I did it with SPMC. 
and SPMC is good enough. If we take adequate precautions, if we remain at safe distance from the corneal endothelium and if we follow these rules, we can protect both corneal endothelium and posterior capsule. So the safety measures that we should keep in mind is strain the capsule, do a large rexis, debulk the hard core of the nucleus and then chop it into at least two halves and then divide the each heminucleus into smaller parts. Even if, we, even if it doesn't, uh, even if you can't divide this each heminucleus, you can tilt it and gradually you can engulf it using ultrasonic energy. Here it is. This is the last bit of nucleus and we have conquered this hard nucleus and see the beauty of Oatly Cataracts 3 phaco tip. The wound is clear. There is no wound burn. Now, after cortical cleanup, in this case, a full level intraocular lens is being implanted in the capsular bag. The leading haptic has gone into the bag, and here is the trailing haptic. It has also gone into the capsular bag. Now, cortical, now the cleaning of viscoelastic substance is done thoroughly. I clean it with, uh, with this Simco cannula as well as bimanual irrigation aspiration. And after a thorough cleanup of this viscoelastic substance, the side ports are hydrated and the interchamber is formed. And see the main wound. There is no wound burn. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will encourage you to do hard cataracts with mid-range phacomation.